Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a machine that doesn't just print. It redefines what a 3D printer can be. This is the Bamboo Lab H2D. And let me tell you right off the bat, it's not just an upgrade, it's a statement. Now, if you've been in the 3D printing world for even a minute, you've probably heard of Bamboo Lab. They took the market by storm with their X, A, and P lines. And just when we thought things couldn't get any better, they dropped the H2D. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and it's hard to go back. Seriously, switching back to my older machines made them feel tiny and slow. Let's start with what matters most, build volume. The H2D gives you a whopping 350 by 320 by 325 millimeters of print space. That's not just a number, it's a game changer. I printed a full-size Mercury astronaut helmet, and yes, it fits. We're talking human-scale prints now. Wearables, cosplay helmets, large props, you name it. And the best part? It does all that at the speed and quality Bamboo is famous for. But this isn't just about size. Bamboo completely redesigned how the machine works internally. The X-axis now uses a sturdy linear rail instead of carbon rods. Belts are thicker, the frame is reinforced, and it runs quiet. Like surprisingly quiet for a printer this size. The motion system is so precise that with the optional optical calibration plate, you can achieve 5 micron resolution. Yeah, engineering grade accuracy, right in your workspace. And then there's the dual nozzle system. This isn't just another dual extruder gimmick. Both Houghtons are identical, reach 350 degrees Celsius, and are offset in the Z-axis. They auto-calibrate before every job to ensure perfect layer alignment, even on flat, multicolor surfaces. And that's the magic. True dual material and dual color printing without the constant nozzle flushing or wasted filament. Now let's talk AMS2 Pro. This is not just a filament feeder. It's a smart, heated, moisture-controlled dry box. Built-in sensors, airflow circulation, and up to 65 degrees Celsius heating keep filaments bone dry. Even the picky ones like TPU or nylon. And yes, it supports multicolor printing with up to 25 spools when daisy-chained. But what blew me away wasn't the number of colors. It was how intelligently it handled them. You see, the slicer knows when to switch spools and how to avoid unnecessary swaps. I printed a five-color Pikachu figure that only required 14 flushes, saving over 200 spool swaps and 81 grams of waste. That's not just a time saver. That's a filament saver, a sanity saver. And if you're selling prints, a money saver too. But Bamboo didn't stop there. They added legs to the snake, literally. The H2D now moonlights as a laser cutter, blade cutter, and plotter. I know what you're thinking. Do we really need that? Well, if you're a serious crafter or run a small business, this turns your print setup into a full-blown craft factory. One machine, multiple jobs. Slide in the laser or cutter module. It clicks in place. You don't even remove the print head, and it's not some flimsy afterthought either. The laser system includes a bird's eye camera, safety glass, smoke detection, and hands-free operation. It's fast, precise, and yes, safe. Bamboo even sells their own pre-measured materials. But heads up, laser cutting is not a set it and forget it task. Stay close, stay safe. What I love most? The effortless transition between printing, cutting, and lasering. The tool head stays in place. The work plates snap on magnetically. It's all clean, smooth, and intuitive. Unlike some machines that need 20 screws just to swap modes. My only complaint? Storage. You'll need a good shelf or drawer system to keep all these premium parts organized. So, is it perfect? Almost. There's been some talk in the community about firmware changes. Specifically, if you're using third-party slicers like Orca, you now need to install a middleman app called Bamboo Connect. It works fine for most users, but if you're running a print farm or using home assistant setups, it could disrupt your workflow. Bamboo's policies haven't crossed the line yet, but it's something to watch. Yeah, it's pricey. 
This isn't a beginner's machine. But if you're a maker, a crafter, a creative pro, this might be the best investment you can make. You get the large build volume, high temp capabilities, multi-material and multi-color support, and a fully integrated laser and cutting platform, all in one rock-solid unit. So is the Bamboo Lab H2D worth it? For hobbyists? Maybe not. For professionals, crafters, Etsy sellers, tech teachers, prototypers? Absolutely. It's powerful, efficient, well-designed, and frankly, fun to use. Bamboo Lab didn't just improve the 3D printing experience. They expanded what's possible in your creative workspace. If you found this review helpful, drop a like. Maybe even share it with someone looking for a serious upgrade. Got questions? Hit the comments. I always reply. And hey, if you're still not convinced, stay tuned. I've got more print tests, laser demos, and comparison videos on the way. Until then, happy printing, stay safe, and keep making cool stuff. Catch you in the next one.